What's going on you guys? This is Dan's Roboto 2021 here and welcome back to Five Nights at Nintendo Land Anniversary Edition where we will be taking on nights three and four in this video and before I get started a YouTuber pointed out to me in the last video that um, you actually, in the in the Anniversary Edition you actually do not need pack to enter a password to continue the night because there is a save file just pretty cool because um, cause I got tired of having to enter so many passwords like in the original game. So yeah. So without further ado, we will take on night three and let's see what has done before us. And we get a phone call, of course. Hey man, how's it going tonight? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for calling you again tonight. I know I said I wouldn't. Workers at Nintendo who set up this job, they said that they tried to call you but couldn't get a hold of you. So they told me to tell you that they put a new feature into your tablet. Uh, they said they were going to do this a bit more over the next few nights. I honestly don't really see why. This place is empty and all that, right? <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay, so. Night 3, same mechanic. We're dealing with Sonic, cause, and if we hear him, we have to lock the door. Oh, Meta Knight. Oh, Sonic. Lock the door. And I think we're dealing with... Oh, Pikachu. Soon we're dealing with Luigi too this night. Luigi. I assume we're also dealing with Luigi. Oh, Sonic. Gotta lock the door. I know for Luigi, we have to go in the shack, just like with Pikachu and Meta Knight. Sonic, we have to lock the door. Mario, we also have to go in the shack. And then for Mario, we also have to go, go in the shed. There you go. Double Pikachu and now Sonic. And I just got killed by Majora because the awareness of meter was full. <laughs> Okay, I just remember we're dealing with Luigi on night. F I believe we're dealing with Luigi night four, Mario night five. Because for night three, we're dealing with Sonic. So, yeah. And then I believe Luigi's for night four, Mario's night five. Because for every character we have to, except for Sonic, we have to hide in the shed. Sonic, of course, we have to lock the door on the camera. Which, and that's the only time we have to use the camera is for um, Sonic. And it's interesting that Sonic... This game is called Final Fantasy Nintendo Land and Sonic is in the game. Cause Sonic is Sonic is a Sega character. Cause Sonic is a Sega character. He's not a Nintendo character. Like it's so weird. And I gotta make sure not to be in the shed for too long, because Majora will kill me. Like he just did. Okay, Sonic, I mean Pikachu, sorry. I just dealt with Sonic already. Now Meta, Meta Knight. Now 
making sure the old, the Majora awareness meter doesn't get too full. Because in the original game, if the Majora awareness is empty, Majora will kill you. But in this game, Majora will kill you if it's full. And I just dealt with Sonic, of course. Meta Knight. Pikachu. And now I gotta deal with Sonic. There you go. Sonic, get rid of him, bye bye. There we go. Okay, Meta Knight. And the Majora Awareness meter is almost full, so that's not good. Okay, Sonic. There we go. And the music box is playing. Which is very stressful, which makes it very stressful. And I just died from to Majora. Great. I gotta figure out a way to not stay in the shed for too long, because... Because it fills up quickly. Something I didn't notice until now, but for each night I've done, it skips 12 a.m., which is a nice thing, because cause then you don't have to do an extra hour. Good. Sonic. There we go. Gotta lock the door, of course. Pikachu. Oh, gotta go back in the shed. Sonic's here. Pikachu. And now I gotta deal with Sonic. There we go.
Boom. I have locked the door. Oh, Madam I. Okay, we're at 4 a.m. and this is the hard part with the Majora awareness meter. Now I gotta figure out how to not stay back there too long at 4 a.m. And I just died. Great. God, the major awareness is the hard part when you get to 4 a.m. Like, that's the hard part. Damn it! Couldn't deal with Pikachu in time because I was dealing with Sonic.
there we go. Got rid of Pikachu. Okay, I'm checking for who else is coming. Because I'm watching the Majora wearing it, so it's hard to conserve the thing. Comes the hard part with the Majora awareness. Because once that thing gets full, then I then I die. Then I get killed by Majora. Whereas the original game, if it's empty, then it's game over. And here comes the music box. Damn it. Great. This is the hard part. God, Majora's so annoying. Okay, so when one bar fills up, then I'll leave the shed, the shed, to avoid filling it up too much. Because I gotta conserve it, which is the hard part, because it fills up quickly. A little bit of strategy will help, that's what I'm trying to do. Hopefully it'll help me beat this night, because I'm conserving the major awareness as best as I can. And it is hard to do. There we go. Night 3 is a little bit tricky since they're starting to move a little bit faster, obviously. And plus, Sonic starts to move on Night 3. Damn it, I could- oh my god. How was I supposed to deal with both Pikachu and Sonic at the same time? Every once in a while on night three, they double team you. Which I hate being double and triple teamed in these type of games. And also, Sonic is headless, which is weird.
Oh, Pikachu. It's a good thing I dealt with Sonic right before Pikachu because from time to time they double team you on night three. Oops, Sonic. There we go. Pikachu. And now I gotta deal with Sonic. There you go. I got the Sonic just in time. And Pikachu. Perfect. Because if both of them come at the same time, then I'm pretty much screwed. Because it's hard to deal with them when they're being double teamed. Okay, Meta Knight. There we go. That's 4 a.m., which is when the music box plays. Which is the which is the stressful part. I don't know whose theme that is, but that music box makes it stressful at 4 a.m. That's your Sonic. Okay, the drawer awareness is still half full, so that's good. That means my strategy's working. Because it is hard to conserve that thing. Especially on, like, later nights, like nights 4 and 5. Like, once I do nights 4 and 5, it's going to be harder to conserve the Majora awareness. And we beat night three. All right. It was tricky to do because we had to conserve the major awareness meter, but we beat it nonetheless. And it gives us a password for night four, but in, but in this anniversary edition, we don't need passwords because um, there is a save file. The original game, just like, with, and this is the same with Five Nights at Smudgers as well as um, Five Nights at Wario's rebooted um, and Five Nights at Smash Bros. games, you had to enter a password for each night but yeah so anyways we will take on night four in the next video thank you for watching everybody please hit the like button also comment and subscribe i appreciate all the support you've given me hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel and i will see you in the next video goodbye